Today I'll show you the 14 layouts I've already made in the main aquarium. Stay with me until the end to let me know which one you like the best. Welcome to PSK Aqua. Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you the evolution of my main aquarium. I'll share the layouts I've created over time while keeping three absolutely icon fish as my main inhabitants. From the beautiful and vibrant hybrid discus to the wild discus with their natural and almost untouchable charm. And finally, the altums, uh, which in my opinion bring an incomparable elegance to any aquarium. And get ready! If you think each aquascape was just a rearrangement, you're wrong. Each one has a story, unique challenges, and even some crazy ideas along the way. That's right, Ray. But before we start, I'd ask you uh, to keep an eye to all the layouts. They labeled on the side. At the end of the video, leave a comment to let me know which one you like the best. I've always replied to all your comments. Are you ready to start, Rick? Ready! I've already got my seatbelt on. Let's do this! So let's go to the first layout. In the first aquascape I did in this tank, I tried to do a mix of a planted aquarium with something simple and open so that the discus could swim freely. I think I achieved that effect, however, in my opinion, a planted aquarium with fertile soil and too close to the ground with lots of plants, it's not a great choice with discus, as the water quality deteriorates uh, more easily due to the accumulation of debris in, the, in these parts that are less accessible for cleaning. Therefore, although I, I even like the layout, I dismantle it after a few months. Honestly, I think this layout is a bit heavy and lacks color. It could have more tall plants in the background. But that's just my opinion. I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. But at the time, it seemed like a very good idea. So let's move on the second layout. This aquascape is perhaps the one I like the least. Since I want to disactivate the previous one, I took advantage of the material I had, such as the rocks and logs, and readjusted it a bit as a remedy. The idea was good, trying to recreate roots that entered the water, but the logs were not perfect for this effect, because the base of the logs, now at the top, was very thick. It did not create the effect I wanted. But for an improved layout, it wasn't that bad. I don't think I am ashamed of it. Well, I think you could do better than that. But I understand. You worked with what you had and not with material that was designed for that purpose. Let's move on to the next one. In this third layout, I gave in to Aqua Decor products and ordered 10 imitation logs. Aquadector products are really spectacular. If you don't know, you can hardly tell if they are real or fake. In this layout, I clearly put too many logs. The discus were walking around the aquarium as if the, uh, they were in the obstacle course. Really? They must have felt dizzy from so many turns they had to take. And then what? What did you do? As I said before, I thought I had too many logs, so I removed three, leaving the aquarium wider. And it was from here that I think I really started to like the layouts I was doing. The previous ones, in my opinion, were very messy and very full. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And at the end, uh, tell me in the comments which of these layouts is your favorite. I'm really curious to know your opinion. 
This kind of video is great for anyone who wants to recreate something similar or get ideas for a layout in their aquarium. Exactly! This type of videos is perfect for anyone looking for inspiration or even practical ideas for their next aquarium project. Don't forget to share it with a friend who is passionate about aquariums. But let's move on to the next layout. This one didn't change much uh, from the previous one. However, I remove a few more logs and readjust the position of the logs and left the right side wider, thus creating a swimming area uh, for the fish. The aquarium was very well filtered with a Fluval FX6 uh, to Sickle Tidal 75 and a Tidal 110, since I had more fish than recommended. It's true. The ratio of 40 liters per discus had already been exceeded, but with frequent water changes and good filtration, that ended up not being a big problem, right? It's not the ideal, but that's right, Rick. So let's go to the next layout, where I completely changed the structural idea of the last three. I saw this beautiful and a gigantic piece of driftwood in a store and I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. <laughs> the log has a lot of texture, spaces for small fish to take the refugee and attach plants like Anubias. With this configuration, the discus had plenty of space to swim on the opposite side of the log and the smaller fish, a refugee area in the log. And did you keep this log for a long time? Not for long, the log was very beautiful, but it disintegrated a lot, dirtying the aquarium a lot to the point that the sand was always very dirty. That's when I made a radical decision. I went back to the aqua decor logs and removed all the sand, leaving a bare bottom. A bare bottom? What does that consist of? It consists of removing all the sand from the aquarium and leaving the bottom clean. It has several advantages, but aesthetics is not one of them. An aquarium without sand looks strange, but I tried to create a layout that minimizes this negative impact, and I think I succeed. In my opinion, even without sand, I think this is a very beautiful and minimalist layout. I have to agree. This configuration is very elegant. Show me the next one. I'm really curious. Next, I kept the bare bottom, but put a beautiful red moor log. This log is so beautiful, full of details and textures. It's an icon log on this channel. I agree. It's a beautiful log, without a doubt. And did you keep it for a long time? Yes, I kept this layout for a long time. It was a winning configuration, until as with everything, we get tired of seeing the same thing. So I use the same log to create a new layout idea. I decided to change the position of the log, placing it high, creating the idea of a tree coming out of the aquarium. Wow, this layout is spectacular. I think so too, Rick. It was quite difficult to get the log into that position, but once fixed to the rocks, I think I achieved a beautiful layout. The fish had plenty of space to swim and the aquarium become very spacious and with a very clean image. Until one day, the log slipped it and luckily there was no disaster at home. It was time to end this layout. What luck that nothing happened. The log was still big. It could have done a lot of damage. It's true, it could have. That's when I decide to keep everything underwater. There's a video on the, of the whole assembly here on the channel. I leave here in the link here in the cards and in the description. Because they are so versatile, I went back to the aqua decor locks. This time I created two islands on which I planted many plants. How so? You planted plants if you don't have substrate. 
Didn't you keep the bare bottom? Well observed, Rick. I create a technique to be able to keep a plant that normally needs substrate but without substrate. I leave the link to the video where you can see how I did it here in the cards and in the description. This configuration lasts for a long time, perhaps the longest I've kept it, because it was so clean, easy to maintain and versatile. After a long time with the previous layout, I decided to change again, but this time to something completely different, because I had in mind to leave the hybrid discus and venture into the wild discus. And what does that have to do with the layout? The layouts I had done up to now were colorful, full of light and, in my opinion, they don't fit well with the natural colors of the wild discus. This time I tried to imitate an Amazonian biotope as much as possible and I bought a background from Aqua Decor and head to the logs I already had. Yes! Really! Those wild discus look much better in a neutral colored environment like this layout you did. But I see you already had Altums there. Exactly, Rick. The passion for Altums started here. I kept this layout for a long time. But since the aquarium is in my living room and I spent all my time passing by it, I end up getting tired of seeing it and decide to change again. And did you do anything else with the Aquaticore products? Exactly. I ordered a new background and some different logs. This time I bought a less bulky background because the previous background took up a lot of space with the shape of the logs. I also ordered rocks, a large branch and smaller ones to simulate the bed of an Amazonian river. In my opinion, I think I managed to put into practice the idea I had for this layout, which I also have videos of the entire assembly, uh, which I leave in the description. It looked a lot like a riverbed and I think it was very beautiful, but it was with this layout that I had one of the greatest sorrows I have had in this hobby. Without any influence from the materials that were placed, not least because they had already been like this for a few months, it was on this layout that all my wild discus and other fish died. Yes, I remember that video. It was really sad. You had had the discus for so long and they were so healthy. From one moment to the next, they died in two or three days, didn't they? Yes, that's right. Every time I think about having discus again, I immediately give up on the idea, just thinking about what happened. Unable to look at the layout where the discus die, I made a new change, removing the rocks and some of the logs and switching the large branch to the other side. This change was more to try to erase from my memory the sad period I had with the death of so many fish, which I also leave the link in the description if you want to see it. This layout served to focus entirely on the fish that now consider my favorites, the Altums. It was a miracle, the Altums were not affected by what happened to the discus, so I channel all my energy into this wonderful fish. I started everything from scratch, from the smallest grain of sand. If I was going to focus on Altums, I had to cut ties with the past. So I built what, for me, is the best layout of all. I went back to 100 natural materials and tried to recreate an Amazonian biotope that would be pleasing to the eye in my living room and, most importantly, would ensure the well-being of the fish. Without a doubt, this layout is really beautiful. I had the opportunity to make the video of the assembly with you and it turned out spectacular. Oh 
my friends, that's been the journey of my main tank so far. From the vibrant colors of ivory discus, the natural charm of wild discus and now the majesty of autumns. It's been quite a journey, don't you think, Rick? It really was a great journey back in time. But I know what you're thinking. What will be the next chapter, right? Calm down. I hope to have this one for many years. I'll make a touch up here and there, <laughs> but I don't plan to change it anytime soon. So don't forget, like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss any updates. And of course, share this video with your friends. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Please like.